Dear Calendar Girl, Hello again. You probably don't remember me, but we spoke a few weeks ago. I poured out my deepest secret to you and apparently the rest of San Maishuno in hopes that I could amend the tremendous mistake I'd made. You've become my sort of intercessor. I desperately need to confess, but the anonymity you provide is still my lifeline. I've kept track of him, my baby's father. Not that it was some difficult task. Before I left him that faithful night, I went through his wallet because I just needed to know his name, his full name. Before, we'd made it a game. All night long, we'd danced, laughed, no formalities, not even the frivolous questions people ask when they first meet. What's your favorite color? Sports team. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Do you want children? We wanted to skip the complexities of where the night was clearly taking us. Nothing personal, familiar, intimate. It was supposed to be one night of no regrets. I had been honest up until the moment I had stepped into his foyer. Tonight, this is all this is and will ever be. Those brown eyes had honed in on the very core of my soul. I'd almost admitted my truth of my intentions to get pregnant and never seeing him again. I follow him on Simstagram under a fake profile of a woman who went to his university. Is it crazy? Am I insane? I just needed to know what kind of father he might have been had I given him the chance to be one. Sincerely, Kay. This is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet and to another episode of Calendar Girl. I do hope that you're enjoying your day so far because I am. It's the weekend, or at least it's the start of the weekend. And I'm super excited about today because it's the start of the weekend, I guess. Okay. So uh, we're here with Tati. She had to come in for work. She had to come into the office. Uh, this is where uh, the magic happens. This is the home base of Simlish. Looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It's a very modern building. I did not build this. This is from the gallery. Um, I can certainly let you guys know who created this, this uh, beautiful cube here um but tati is supposed to come in for work uh she got called in because well her um <clears throat> level of performance has been lacking she did actually have another gig i think we picked it up in the last episode and she did very well but it was at a lower level i i'm assuming that her writing skill isn't quite high enough um, she's feeling rather dazed and hungry, so I'm gonna come down here and have her grill something to eat first. But we have a baked potato. Single serving. We don't need to feed the entire building because we don't have it like that. And a baked potato is just what we need. Oh, what's going on here? The Spice Festival is in town. Click on any of the, okay, yeah. Well. So the Spice Festival is in town. Huh, do we? Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know you guys see this, right? So we're 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 at an impasse. Do we go with Cairo to the Spice Festival? Or do we consider our 
possible friendship with Meiji. I mean, how do we want, what path do we want to take as Harmony, as the calendar girl? As the calendar girl or Harmony, she's got to choose. Oh man, this is, this is, um, you know what? I'm going to say, we're going to have to say no. We're going to have to say no. Because we're, even if Meche is not really a good friend, we don't know her that well. Harmony has um, high a high morality or she, she has morals, okay? And she values friendships and um, over, it's like that bros before, uh, I'm just gonna put it out there, it's bros before hoes and uh, what is sisters before misters? <laughs> so we're just gonna have to turn him down. Sorry, Cairo. Um, you know what? Wait, though. Wait. Okay. Okay. This, this might work out. We'll go to the festival, but we'll bring Meche. All right. So let's hope Mage is available. She is. Is Dosi available? We're grabbing her. We can make this a double date thing. Let's grab uh, our latest love. Oh, well, the Mr. Right for now. Ooh, wait a minute, though. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you know what? Let's not be that girl right now. Let's let's focus on Mr. Adam Black, and we're gonna get Jada, and we're gonna grab Corey because Mitch is going to bring her girls with her um, as moral support, and we're going to be the the bigger person here. Let her know that um, her babe called. And we'll just put it like, hey, he called, he's interested, he just didn't know how to ask you out. He felt a little more comfortable with me getting you to come to the Spice Festival um, as a plus one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> just to fix you up. How about that? We'll go with that story. Look at us showing up at the Spice Festival and uh, skipping out on work, knowing full well that we got called into the office. We'll make that up. We'll go in tomorrow or maybe we'll uh, go in later today. But we really just want to enjoy some time with our friends. We didn't get to hang out with them before because we were, you know, uh, talking. Uh, we went on a, well, we didn't go on a date with Mr. Black. We went on a terrible, oh, look. What? Major, get in on this, girl. Let's talk him up. All right. Wait, look at your friend. He's... Oh, wow. She's a little star starstruck. Um, <laughs> get your friend, Meche. Get your friend. We need to talk up. Uh, talk him up. Where's he at? Where's the, where's the option? Finally... How are you going to tip him? You need to talk to him. Let's talk him up. There we go. Talk up Cairo. Where's it at? Where's the option to talk up Cairo? There we go. Talk him up. Ask about him. Um, let's hook her up with him. Because I don't like this uh, Corey over here trying to move in on uh, Mitch's territory. I mean, there's nothing, uh, well, okay, there are a few things sexier, but come on, a guy in a, some nice jeans <laughs> playing the guitar, I don't know. <laughs> Talk him up, oh, she's mad. Why is she mad? Is she mad because Corey was trying to, to hone in on her territory? All right, we've decided that we've um, been ignoring Mr. Adam Black long enough. Where did he go? Maybe he left because we weren't paying him any attention. There's a lot of talent in this city. Oh, uh, 
he's cute. Oh, there he is. Did we talk him up? Okay, let's let's talk to Adam. Let's get to know him. We've gotten to know him quite a bit on our date, and we had a lot in common. Uh, we both like the same things. He seems to like to cook, and he's been trying to talk Tati into taking a cooking class with him. Um, and she hasn't quite decided that yet because that's just an extra expense that she just doesn't have the money for. Um, but that might be something that she can consider later. So let's uh, let's flirt a little bit with him. Nice outfit. Check you out. Uh, all right, so we need to eat some spicy food. Explore and experience the city with your friends. Okay, guys, is she hungry? Oh, she is super hungry, and she's tired. Um, You're not looking. Don't look. I'm going to cheat her energy just a little bit, just a tad. I don't want her to fall out. Um, I want, to enjoy, want her to enjoy herself, but she does need to get some food. But it says eat spicy food. Are these spicy? Okay, I know that pho is good, but I've never had spicy pho. So let us, okay, we know that curry is, I want to try something different. Ooh, empanadas. The rest of this looks meh. Let's try taquitos. It's not exactly what I would call spicy, but it just sounds good right now. I could be just hungry, but that just sounds super good. And uh, she's hungry too, so at this point, whatever's whatever. Why are you eating standing up? Um, let's talk to Adam since he seems to be interested in food. He is a bit of a foodie, so he would appreciate it if we talked to him about our meal. Uh, he looks. Oh, see, look, he likes that. He's impressed. Well, and she's learned a new recipe. Sweet. What's going on with him? Why is his lip quivering? Aw. Maybe we should find out what's going on with him. Um, can we cheer him up? Let's ask him what's going on. Now, I've noticed that you've been awfully sad today. Um, you haven't been your normal self. What's what's going on? I'm cold. That's what's going on. <laughs> He's cold. Well, I mean, look at the temperature, dude. You're outside. It's freezing. You have no jacket on, neither do I, but I'm a G, so I can hey, I can deal with the weather. Whoa, what was that? Are you a vampire? Did you just bat wing yourself over to the table? Um, all right, let's enthuse about our interests. Let's talk about food, talk about the Spice Festival. We've completely ignored our friends again. Um, maybe we should try to locate them, see what's going on. Uh, Dosi's over here talking to Cairo. What is this? Clean up. What the yickety yak? Oh, he is a vampire, buddy. Maybe Dosi's talking to Meche, because I just don't see Dosi being that type of person. But I will tell you guys something. I learned about Dosi. Um, wait, what? I don't know, Cairo. You're not very convincing. Wait a minute. How do you not? He doesn't sound that interesting. Hold up. Wait a minute. Skirt. <laughs> Stop the presses. Vicky Vale, what is this? Um, I don't know, Cairo. You're not very convincing. He doesn't sound that interesting. Girl, if you don't want him. We have plenty of room on our dance card. Okay. Um, he's talking to Dosi then. So, I mean, if Meiji doesn't want him, maybe we can fix him up with Dosi. But like I was saying before, we did find out a little something something about our friend girl here. Uh, ignore that. Where was that? Where is that? Okay, here it is. 
No, it's not. Here it is. Harmony has learned the following traits about Dosi. She's a player. Dosi's been lying to us this entire time, and I don't think I appreciate it. She claims that she was shy, but you got to watch out for those shy ones. Those quiet ones, they're the ones that they're they're the ones you got to look out for. They're the players, and Dosi apparently um, is one. Okay, so. Now he's talking to Giada. He looks kind of forlorn. He looks kind of sad. Let's come over here and cheer him up. You know, um, not for nothing. He seems like a really good guy. And even though we're here with Adam, we can still be a good friend to him. So, oh, don't go to sleep, buddy. Wake up. I know you're tired, but we need to talk. Uh, we've got other friends. I mean, he looks quite annoyed, but oh. Um, let's talk about your dreams. Hey, look, I understand that you were interested in Mei Chain. I thought she was interested too. Look at Adam. Oh, he came. Oh, he's really possessive. Do you see how he came and stood right next to her? Oh, oh, we don't know you. <laughs> Not like that. Um, let's talk him up to, um, Dosi because Dosi seemed a little more interested than, uh, our, our girl Meche, but I can't seem to find that. Here we go. Talk up another sim. Let us talk up Dosi. Dosi Ray. Maybe he'll be interested in her. We did not eat any spicy food, so this was a fail lot. I don't care. Adam's being very, very patient. She doesn't sound that interesting. Dude, who do you like? Adam, that was highly disgusting. Uh, Harmony is having an incredibly bad morning. She woke up to a bad breakout. And, oh, and she smells. Okay, we need to get that taken care of. But she's got pimples all over her face. And I mean, like she's 14 years old. Oh, I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go up? Oh, man. Okay, look. I'm going to have to cancel on you, Adam. I really don't want to do this, but we have to go into work today, and we have massive pimples on her face, and she just doesn't want you to see her like that. Plus, she's just not in a good mood because, for one, um, it's about that time of the month from what I recall seeing on her mood. What is this? Tomato. Whatever just happened to make Harmony's face turn. Oh, I, I have no idea. Cramps. Okay, so, and that, she's cramping. I'm a little confused. I don't know about you guys, but a side note here. Um, let me see if I can remedy this this breakout. I know as of this, with a slice of life, you can do a skincare routine. So let's do a, a weekly treatment on our face get rid of that. But while she's doing that, let's just have a quick discussion about Meche and Cairo. I mean, I thought they were hitting it off before. Do you remember in uh, that couple episodes, let's <laughs> use our vowels, but a couple episodes ago, they were at the club and she was, first of all, she was all up in our conversation when we were talking to Cairo or when Harmony was talking to Cairo. I'm not Harmony. I don't know why I keep saying we, but when Harmony was talking to Cairo, Meche was like, like on her, like white on rice, glued to the seat. And now we're at the festival yesterday and neither one of them showed any interest. I mean, they literally said, we are not interested. I mean, I thought they were hitting it off. I could be wrong. And I mean, that's not the first time and it definitely won't be the last. But uh, yeah, I... <laughs> I don't know what to do about that situation. I guess I should. Hey, neighbor, I'm bored. Want to hang out for a bit. We can socialize or do whatever your heart starts. I, I have this mask on my face. I'm not sure how long this mask lasts. Do I just wash it off? You know what? Let's just invite Dosi in. Um, agree to hang out. Let's have her come in. We've got this mask on our face. Hopefully it won't scare her, but we really need to talk to her about Kyra and Meche. Or actually, let's just talk to her about Cairo. Was she interested? No, she was not interested. That's right. 
Okay, well, we can't just force the issue. Let's talk to her anyways. Let's complain to her about our acne. Uh, I know we look really scary, girl. We look like the mask. We're back in the office. We really need to take our girl Dosi shopping. Oh, looks like somebody's here. Ah, oh, great. I thought we were going to be by ourselves. Anyways, yeah, like I was saying, we need to take Dosi shopping because she's been rocking the same outfit. Oh, it looks like it's bringing her kid to work day. Um... That's the one thing about community lots. You can't keep kids from coming, and it just takes away from the story, the realism, but that's okay. We're going to work with it. Where am I at? Why are we watching a movie? You're supposed to be working. Yeah, my girl Dosie, Um, she, she needs a makeover. Maybe we need to do a mini makeover on her. I mean, I love her outfit. Don't get me wrong. I really do. But um, we, we, could, uh, we, could, we could use some, um, we can use an update. All right, so we need to actually get in here and do some work. Hmm, ghostwriter for history textbook. And I saw one that kind of piqued my interest. Ph Philosophical genius needs a writer. That's interesting. Now, these are paying out a lot more, but I failed those higher level ones, or at least she did. Uh, what's this one? Help a renowned scientist. Renowned Brandy. Okay, let's take this one. It's paying out more and let's read it. Um, writer needed to write a stew, more, a stew? S-T-U? Okay. More comprehensible version of my research for the masses. Current documentation references Difficult concepts for monk, others to grasp. So an individual who can translate Jenny, difficult scientific concepts would be best suited for this task. Okay, I assume that they're trying to keep from using uh, scientific jargon or big $20 words, as my dad would call it. We're going to go ahead and take that gig. I didn't even see uh, when that gig was due or when that assignment was due. When is it due? By Tuesday we've got all weekend to do that perfect so we have some time to hang out with our girls because we haven't done that at all um, let's you know what I want to try we have that um, meaningful stories no what was it there was a was it the slice of life when we go shopping? Yes, let's go shopping. Buy a wig. Let's buy an outfit. Let's buy an outfit for Dosi. Let's take Dosi shopping. I really wish we had shopping malls in the game. We just got invited out to the bluffs um, by Mercedes, so we're gonna go. I mean, it's only 8.30 Sunday night. We don't have anything to do. Uh, yeah, let's, let's head out. Let's grab our friends. Let's grab Dosi. We don't know anybody else or nobody else is, uh, oh. I'm going to push Cairo one more time, but I want to hang out with Adam as well. Do you think it's wrong to bring him? Uh, let's bring him. Just, let's just bring him. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, maybe, maybe. His eyes will be opened. All right, girl, what just happened in party? Oh, there's uh, nobody here. You lied to me, girl. We're the only people here. Cairo, what is with this outfit, man? I should have taken you shopping. You look like a rhino. Straight up. Okay. All right. So this party is not happening at all, but I think we can get it started. I mean, no. Eh, oh. Oh gosh. I'm in a terrible mood. I guess we. Oh, girl, you're pregnant. At a party. You think that's a good idea? 
I'm thinking that's not a great idea. Ah, uh, okay. Dance battle. Ah, uh, can we can we just dance together? Group dance. Cause we don't know any other dance. <laughs> We're gonna do the one two step. Clear the floor, everybody. Let's uh, show them how it's done. Drop these chips, girl. Show them how it's done. Get on the dance floor. All right. Check it out. Get your girls on the floor. Please don't mess it up, y'all. Don't don't embarrass us. Ah. Uh, check it out. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like those rom-coms where everybody knows the dance. <laughs> High school musical. All of a sudden, everybody knows the, everybody knows the song. Everybody knows this, the dance steps. <laughs> you. Ah, uh, he's cute. Oh, it's Enrique. <laughs> How did we not recognize him? Um, you know what? He's here. Let's talk to him. Let's just be friendly. Uh, because there's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, Adam's here. Yes, Mr. March is here. But, uh, you know, we can still have friends. It's, it's strictly friendly. Oh, we kissed him on the cheek. Um, share excitement, tell unbelievable story. Uh, he's so cute. I don't know about that hairstyle, but uh, he really is cute. He's very responsive tonight. Yeah, he's, uh, and we're looking terrible. We've got acne. <laughs> we didn't change our clothes. Uh, we've got all kinds of confidence, though. I'm here for it, girl. Rock that acne like no one. Did we Did we ask about his career before? I'm not even sure if we did. We hadn't. We don't know anything about this guy. We just saw him at the club. Um, let's see what else. Ask for money. Yeah. It, does he have any children? Does he have any kids? Does he have any uh, siblings? Uh, where is that? Does he have any kids? Where was that? Ask about children. Um, he is an only child. He's unemployed. Oh, Enrique. We've been ignoring him. We really need to dance with Adam. I feel like we're just highly distracted by the other flavors on the dance floor. And we really need to... Um, pay attention to Adam because he is the flavor of the month. Um, where's the dance? Can we dance? Let's dance. Dance. You can't dance with someone? Mm hmm. You know what? We don't know anything about him either. Let's ask you about... Do you have any children? Um, are you an only child? These are things that we need to know. He is an only child. He doesn't have any children. That's good. Um, I thought you could dance with people. Can you? I thought you could dance. Ah. You know what? We haven't uh, exchanged numbers. I feel like our friends, my friends are blocking, or Harmony's friends are blocking, because as soon as we invite our um, our love interest over, well, he's not a love interest yet. He's like, he's an interest, put it that way, because we haven't made it official yet, and we're not in love with him. We're seeing him, yes. And every time... Uh, it seems like we are interested in somebody. Our friends just happen to just always block us. Adam walks in the door. Dosi calls. She wants to come over. I want to say no. I want to say no. So I'm going to say no. Because we haven't had any quality time with Adam. Um, and it's by it's no fault 
but harmonies because every time she goes somewhere, she always has to bring her friends. And frankly, he just got kind of tired of it. He made it his business to come over and, uh, you know, spend some time with her alone because he told her, he's like, I like your friends. I enjoy getting to know your friends. Did he just walk into our room? But I want to get to know you alone. Oh, he's doing our laundry? Okay, he's a keeper. He is definitely a keeper. Something has to be wrong with you. Why are you single? I mean, you are single because you're not dating us officially. But why are you single? He's like, yeah, I enjoy getting to know your friends. And I enjoy hanging out with you and your friends. But I really want to get to know you by yourself, you know. Um, and I want to invite you to a cooking class. You know, it'll be a great date. And, and, you know, that's actually a really great idea to take a cooking class on a date. And she's super excited about that. So I think we're going to go ahead and uh, take him up on that offer. But um, let's chat with him for a little bit ask him about his day i know he's he's had he's got today off do we really know what he does we don't know what he does for a living let's see <laughs> ask about your career he might have one of those um custom careers so it might not be showing up he's unemployed what is it with men being unemployed in this uh, the city? He has to have money. Look how he dresses. And he pays for our meals when we go out. I hope you're not a criminal. I really hope you're not a criminal. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and take him up on the offer to go out and take a cooking class. But um, I really want her to clear up her acne first. She's a little embarrassed. And she's just been in a crappy mood. Um, and this massive breakout is going to last for another couple days. So that'll be plenty of time for us to uh, take another gig, get some more work done. And then by Wednesday, we will be ripe for a date. We decided that hanging out in our, apart in our apartment, waiting for a uh, acne attack to disappear was not conducive to our social life. So we gathered a few friends and rolled out to the quad. And when we got here, Giada was sitting here on the couch hanging out with um, Enrique. And much to our chagrin. And I, I'm not sure how Harmony is taking that. I mean, she stakes no claim. And Giada certainly didn't know. Um, and Enrique isn't like... I mean, he hasn't necessarily asked her out, so I don't think it's fair for her to be upset about it, but she's not really happy. Um, but, you know, she's trying to play it off like she doesn't care. I mean, she's got she's got a love interest, a possible love interest with Adam, but he's playing, he's taking it really slowly, and um, Harmony is... She she just doesn't want to. Um, she doesn't know if she wants to take it that slow. She she's how do I want to say it? she's she's in a hurry to <laughs> she's in a hurry to be in a, a serious relationship. But you know she understands there's more efficiency. But uh, you can see her kind of eyeing them. They look like they're having a really good time. And he's enjoying her company more than he was enjoying hers. Um, so, I mean, what is she going to do? Not a thing. So, I guess she's just going to discuss her sad mood with her girls. Well, these aren't her girls. Mitch is her girl. Corey is getting there. But I guess she just kind of wants to, you know, talk about it. She's not really sure if she should trust Corey because she doesn't really know the relationship between Corey and Giada. I mean, maybe they're really good friends and she's afraid that Giada, uh, Corey may go back and repeat what she's 
talking about, but Meiji, I think she can trust enough. Uh, she and Meiji are, well, I mean, they're getting there. She's more friends, she's better acquaintances or friends with Dosi. Uh, they're on their way to becoming best friends. But she does like Meiji, and so far Meiji has been um, fairly cool with her. Oh, by the way, this is my new um, community center. If you guys watch the Speed Build, or haven't watched the Speed Build, I recommend you go do that. But this is what it looks like. Um, this is the art room and art and woodwork room here. Um, this is the computer room that's open to everyone. This is the cooking class. And this is another common area. As well as out here, there's a pool. And out here, people can enjoy movies. I want to put like a popcorn stand. I wish we had a popcorn stand. Anyways, so this is a, another common area where people can eat. Uh, eat lunch um, and yeah that's about it it's really oh I guess up here this is a music room and this is um, a storage area for the the cooking club or the and gaming area and there's yoga right here and that's about it oh Adam's in here cooking what maybe we should come in here Oh, he must be the instructor. <gasps> Was tonight date night? Oh my gosh. Girl, get in here. Oh my gosh. I think we forgot about date night. Let's come in here and apologize. Oh, tell him a funny story. Funny. <laughs> I I realize that I'm I'm late and I'm really sorry. Funny story. I got my days mixed up. I've been in the house working and I just totally got my days mixed up. He seems to be okay about it. You know, he's like, I realize you're a busy person and I, you know, I should have called you just to remind you. No harm done. You're here. So let's enjoy this class. And he's inspecting her little dish. What did she end up making? Looks like she made macaroni and cheese and she's out here trying to serve it. What's he making? What is this, French toast? Oh, that looks so good. I must be hungry. It must be dinner time. Yeah, she's out here cooking. I'm thinking I should probably fix this. But what is this? This is mac and cheese. Maybe she can resume this uh, white cake. Oh, she's tired. What happened? Did I lose some fame points? I don't care. I really don't. Um... I guess that's good. There's nerds, nerds. There's nerds out here playing video games and they get hungry. <laughs> nerds eat. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Who made this? This is made by Sam Henley. Sam Henley is actually the instructor for the class. Oh, no, he's not. I'm sorry. I think it's Reese. Yeah, Reese Snow is. I don't know who Sam Henley is. Um, why are we embarrassed now? We have to pee. Okay. Let's go use the restroom before we make a fool of ourselves again in front of all these wonderful people that we've met. Let's um, socialize once we... I want to meet this Sam Henley. Oh, this is Sam Henley. Nice hair, Sam. Um, she's really pretty. She's been standing there watching Adam cook. He is really good. Wow. Um, I, I'm a little weirded out by her standing here watching him cook. On that note, let's, let's talk about grilled cheese with him and, um, let's tell him how much we enjoyed this class. Um, ask him if he liked our dish, if he thought our cooking was really good. Uh, we haven't eaten yet, so maybe we should go out and grab a, um, a meal or grab a plate together um, he's like you did a really good job this for your first class um, you made macaroni and cheese and I think you finished up those that, those pancakes I believe she did make those pancakes although I don't see them I'm not sure where they went they might be oh there they go right here stuck in the corner so she made those no, Cree made those. 
I lied. But she did make the macaroni and cheese. And she did really, really well. Um, she's getting up there. And she's really enjoying the class. So this might be something that she um, will continue to, uh, whoops, to participate in. I need to go ahead and fix the stove because this is bothering me. Okay, she's falling asleep. So it's probably, it is late. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize what time it was. Poor girl, I need to get her home. He's kept her out quite late. And look at everybody walking through walls. EA, fix your game. <laughs> All right, so let's put food away. Um, let's end the let's end the class, and because uh, yeah, there's all this food here. Let's put everything away. Um, because we don't want food to go to waste. Uh, yeah. There's so much food. It's everywhere. Did everyone leave her here to by herself? Wow. Okay, clean up. Put away. Put away. Clean up. What I should do is probably put a refrigerator out here so people can eat. And that come people that come to the um the community center can eat. To their, to their heart's content. All right, so she basically cleaned up by herself. Everyone left, even her date. That wasn't uh, that wasn't kosher. Harmony just got home and she's so tired and I think she's hungry. She really didn't get to eat. So we're gonna go ahead and end it there. Um, I really feel bad for her. She's going to bed hungry. Um, it turned out at first being a really great day, but then when she was left with having to clean up by herself. She wasn't very happy about that and left a really poor taste in her, her mouth. Uh, no pun intended. I, I don't know, she may not attend that cooking class again. Who knows? I mean, she did enjoy it for what it was worth, but um, Adam kind of made her mad, pissed her off a little bit, but um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I wanted to get y'all's opinion about this wall in the bathroom. It looks like ketchup and mustard right now, but she, um, Harmony did a couple paint swatches. I mean, this is more than a paint swatch. She basically painted the wall, but um, she's thinking about going with a yellow or red um, wall here. And this is just a statement piece. So what do you think? Should we go with red? Should we go with yellow? Uh, this is yellow, this is red, or should we just stick with a white? and go with accent pieces. Let me know if you think those colors are too much uh, for this little space or if we should just be daring. She does like color and she plans on just kind of keeping the color in the bathroom and leaving the rest of the apartment white because she doesn't want to go overboard. When you leave an apartment, if you paint the walls, you have to paint them the original color and she doesn't want to spend that type of money uh, because, you know, who knows? She may not even stay here. All right, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what you guys think about her date with Adam, if she should continue to see him, or if this, you know, him leaving her to clean up everything was a red flag. What about Enrique? Should we continue to try to pursue him, or should we let him and Giada figure things out. A lot to think about. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I do hope you decide to um, become a part of our family. Oh, look at that. Hey, I need to get out of the house. Want to join me for a lunch at DSV Hard Rock Cafe? I don't know, guys. I'm thinking I may go ahead and do that. Uh, maybe you'll find out next time if we go on this date with uh, Cairo seems like no one else is interested in him and he seems to be pursuing us So yeah, maybe you'll find out uh, what happened. Maybe we'll go. Maybe we won't We'll see anyways, like I said, if you haven't become a member of our family I do hope you consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload I try to upload at least three times a week Anyways until next time guys. I love you. Ciao